Hello everyone, welcome to my Project Ideas channel. Today we will learn how to make a smart irrigation system. So let us begin. So for this we need one Arduino, Uno, one small breadboard, one LCD screen, one DC motor, one NPN transistor, one potentiometer, two LEDs, two resistors, four resistors and one temperature sensor. Now let us see how to connect the circuit. So first of all, let us see how to connect this temperature sensor. So it has total three terminals. First is the VS that will connect to this 5 volt power supply of this Arduino. This one is the V out that will connect to this A0 pin number of this Arduino. And the third one is the GND that will connect to this GND pin of this Arduino. Now let us see how to connect the DC motor. So over here there are total two terminals. First will be connected to this GND pin of this Arduino. And the second one will be connected to this emitter pin of this NPN transistor. And this base will be connected through this resistor to this 30 number pin of this Arduino. And the collector will be connected to this 5 volt power supply of this Arduino. Now let us see how to connect the LEDs. So the cathode pin of this LED will be connected through this resistor to the GND pin of this Arduino. And the anode terminal will be connecting to this 10 and 11, uh, 11 and 12 number pin of this Arduino respectively. So in this way our DC motor, LEDs, transistor and temperature sensor is connected. Now let us see how to connect this LCD. So over here, we will connect this ground pin of it to this GND pin of this Arduino. Then the power of a pin will be connected to this 5 volt power supply of this Arduino. After it, this contrast pin will be connected to this wiper pin of this potentiometer. And this potentiometer's first terminal will be connected to this 5 volt power supply of this Arduino. And the Third terminal will be connected to this GND pin of this Arduino. Now let us see how to connect the other pin that is the register select and enable pin will be connected to this 2 and 3 number pin of this Arduino respectively. After it we will connect the read and write pin of it to this GND pin of this Arduino. And the DB4 to DB7 pin will be connected to this 4 to 7 number pin of this Arduino respectively. After it, this LED anode will be connected to this 5 volt power supply of this Arduino and LED cathode will be connected to this GND pin of this Arduino through one resistor. So in this way, our circuit is ready. Now let us see the code. So this is our code. Over here, first of all, we have declared, we have included one header file for the LCD purpose, that is a liquid bristol library. After it, we have initialized some variables like first is the sensor to A0. A0 is the pin to which the sensor is connected. Then motor to 13. 13 is the pin of the Arduino to which this motor is connected. And the LED red is connected to the 12 number pin of the Arduino. And the LED green is connected to this 11 number pin of, of the Arduino. And hence the naming is done in this way. After it, we have declared an array of this LCD and initialized to this 2 to 7 number pin of this Arduino to which this LCD pins are connected respectively. Now in this void setup function, we are beginning the serial connection with the 9600 bit bits per second of speed. And after it, we are beginning the LCD with 16 columns and 2 rows. And we are setting the cursor and printing the text in that. Again, we are setting the cursor to zero number column and one row and we are printing the text and we have configured the pin mode motor and LED red and LED green for the output purpose respectively. After it, again, we are clearing the screen and printing the text, temperature and water pump. Uh, this will show that whether what exactly is the temperature and this will show that with respect to that temperature whether the water pump is on or off. Now in this void loop function we are reading the value of the sensor pin and storing it in this uh, value variable. 
After it, we are calculating the temperature and degree centigrade and we are setting the LCID cursor and printing the temperature in it. Again, if the temperature will be greater than 40 degree centigrade, means there is very less humidity inside the soil. The motor will be high, given high power and hence it will start rotating and the red LED will be high and the green LED will be low. And the LCD screen will print that the water pump is on. Else means the temperature is less than or equal to 40 degree centigrade. The motor pump will not rotate and the green LED will glow. And the LCD screen will print off. And this will be done for one second. Now let us see how exactly it will work. So for it, I'm clicking on start simulation. As you can see, smart irrigation system. Initially, the temperature is 24.93 degrees centigrade and hence the water pump is off and this green LED is glowing. As you can see, motor is also not rotating. Now let me increase the temperature. As you can see, I have increased the temperature. Now it is 68.91 degrees centigrade and hence water pump is on. And originally this DC motor is also rotating and this red LED is on. So in this way, our smart irrigation system will work. Thank you.